This is Joyce, the voice of Joyce, and I'm hoping your world is peaceful and that you'll have a really good day, whether or not you're in quarantine. I'm self-quarantined. I'm in New York City, and I'm kind of getting used to it. I walk my hallway. I know it's a hundred steps each time I do it. So I'm now doing it at least twice a day. This way I can get in two miles of walking even though I'm not outside. And Zoom has come into my life and really lessened the isolation for so many of us. Uh, yes, I understand we're giving up privacy to have Zoom or VMO or whatever the other podcasting stations are, but it's really wonderful to see friends and family uh, more regularly than we're used to seeing each other. It's kind of a pleasure. One of my friends said her parents used to call in perfunctorily once a week just to see how she was. Now everyone calls every couple of days, even though there's probably a six to 10 hour time differential. So isolation is not really isolation. It is bringing us together as a community. And what seems to matter to all of us is, are we okay? Are we eating? The fun thing is, are we cooking? What are we making? Have we had a drink lately? What books we like? And what are we streaming? So it's not so bad. Uh, we're getting used to it. When you look at the outside world, that can be very, very distressing. We've had the highest number of deaths in New York City today. Today is Friday, and you'll see this video on Tuesday. I certainly hope, with all of our efforts at self-quarantine, that we can flatten the curve. It's a real necessity. What happens here in New York doesn't have to happen elsewhere in the country. You've got the rest of the country learn from us. The quicker you self-quarantine, and I know Fauci would like to see everyone self-quarantined, the quicker we'll be rid of COVID-19. Also, wear face masks. Evidently, the disease can be carried merely by talking to another person who may sh not show any symptoms at all, but just because you're within range of their, speak of their voice, you could indeed contract the virus. It's now known that people who have the virus and show no symptoms are really major carriers of the disease. Fauci is also advocating two other things that I think are wonderful and will save our world. One is masks. It's pretty easy to make your own. Uh, they're on the web all the time now on how to do it. If you don't have a standard mask, it will protect you from contracting the virus. And masks are now being recommended, not the N95s, but just you can make it out of any dense cloth, uh, cotton or satin, and uh, use nothing more than uh, rubber bands to secure it around your ears. So you could be as elegant as you like if you've got a beautiful scarf or as simple as you like 
if you've got some old sheets around. Uh, it's an easy fix. In Asia, one of the reasons people did not become contaminated and were able to keep on working in Taiwan, in South Korea, in uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, is because it is courteous if anyone feels ill to wear a mask. And that tradition of being courteous really saved their lives and saved their economy. It's a good thing for all of us to learn, especially since we take public transportation. Why not protect yourself and others at the same time? Also, don't despair. There is help on the way. It's not going to be like the cavalry charging in, but Mayo Clinic is coming up with an antibody test to see who among us has had the disease, and perhaps then we can be trained to relieve the health uh, professionals and others uh, who are short-staffed, whether it's in uh, the Army, the military, the National Guard, the police force, or healthcare professionals. Uh, we can be the auxiliary force. Uh, Mayo Clinic thinks they'll have their antibody test out next week. We still don't have a good picture of what's happening with the spread of the coronavirus. But we will within a month. Not from America, but Iceland and Germany. Both are studying the virus in depth. They are using in Iceland their entire population of a quarter of a million people they are all going to be tested and tracked for the transfer of the virus and note uh, who, who comes down with it, who exhibits dire symptoms, who not, and we'll have a real opportunity uh, with 500,000 people participating uh, between those two regions on what's happening with the virus. Congregating in public doesn't work. New Orleans is a prime example. Mardi Gras helped to infect a large portion of the population. And even today, as the police put minor uh, offenses uh, folks who have committed minor offenses behind jails, uh, they too are coming down with the virus. So be prepared, everyone. Wear the masks, wear goggles if you can, wear gloves, and don't go within eight feet of each other because we know social distancing works. And all of the museums, uh, the uh, streaming services, the opera, they're all there for us to be informed and entertained. And very honestly, I don't think I could live without all of my friends sending me what they consider the funnies. They are indeed funny. And every once in a while, we all have to laugh. If we don't laugh, this will be the death of us, but it doesn't have to be. We have friends, we have family, we have entertainment, and we have technology to keep us informed about what's happening in our world. You can go all over the world. Unfortunately, for the time being, it's virtual. But I hope in the not too distant future, 
if we follow Fauci's advice, we'll really be traveling again. Won't be for a while, but it'll happen. And then we'll have to prepare and keep preparing for the next pandemic because that's in our future too. But it doesn't have to be that it is a hardship for all of us. When you're prepared, when you have the facts in front of you, there is no reason to fear what happens. You just automatically take precautions. And that's what I'm hoping we all learn. We learn that family is important, friends are important. Whatever makes us comfortable at this point in time is important. And stay informed. For me, knowledge is understanding and understanding means I'm not fearful. You shouldn't be either. But be aware that COVID-19 makes no distinctions among us that we know of yet. But we'll know all its secrets because we'll know who's vulnerable and who isn't. So it'll end soon and the scramble for toilet paper will end and we'll be having life back to another normal. And hopefully we have learned the importance of a society of caring individuals. And we will surround ourselves with people who really do care and do matter. And we will be thoughtful about those who are vulnerable and, and make sure that they aren't. So have a blessed day, everyone. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you next week. Bye now and take care.